Y'all. What up, Facebook? What up? What up, Facebook? We live in the building with Tony Storm. You hey, know hey. what I'm saying? What up with it? About to get this shit cracking off for the Mini Death Podcast. It's your boy, Black Hollywood. Shout you know. out to my homeboy, Boom the Bob, wherever you at. We're going to turn up tonight in the yeah. city, buddy. Yeah. Shit, we about to get this shit cracking off, man. What you got going on, man? What you about to perform for today? Hey, man, I got this thing, man. This song I'm working on, man. The beat just called 93. I haven't named the song yet, man. But I'm going I'm to drop a little freestyle on y'all, man, and hit y'all with this little concept I got, man. You know, just bars, you know, and facts, you know what I'm saying? Just standing out, you know what I'm saying? Being motherfucking special and peculiar and not regular and familiar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit like that, you know? Man, so tell them, like, how long you been doing music, bro? Because I've been knowing you. I, I met you when I was a little bit young. You was just yeah. a little bit younger than me, and we was fucking around with tape cassettes and shit. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. let them know, like, how long you been out in this bitch, you feel? Man, I've been doing this shit my whole life, man. Put it like this, man. When Another Bad Creation and all that, and Criss Cross was coming out, like, I knew that I was colder than them guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a child, like, I knew. Like, There's how... no cap, bro. It's <laughs> hot as shit. When I met him, I'm like, man, this nigga is a goddamn genius, bro. Right. Appreciate That's it, bro. When, like, when Eminem and shit came out, you know what I'm saying? I was in high school. Like, back before, I'm going to go before that. Like, when I was, first time I went to the studio, the studio I went to was Mark and Jeff Bass Brothers. You know what I'm saying? And this was the basement in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? My first actual recording is in the studio where Eminem did, um... The Marshall Mathers, the first LP, and they was telling me about this guy named uh, Slim Shady, and I wasn't trying to hear him, because, you know, I'm ignorant, I'm young and cocky and shit, like, I didn't want to hear that shit, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't care about Shady, but I didn't know, like, I was 12, I didn't know that a few years later I would be in high school and he would be taking over the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? So I knew then, like, I had to step my bars up, like, then. So I, I done seen everybody come and go. I just never stopped. You know what I'm saying? I kind of got sidetracked by the street stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sidetracked by myself. Sidetracked by the ladies and shit like that. The females. But now I'm at a point where it's like, man, shit. This is what I got. This is my life's work. So, you know, I'm just trying to do my thing, you know? So listen, y'all, man. We about to get straight to business. I'm about to pop this track on, man. We about to light this motherfucker up, man. It's my nigga Tony Storm. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is the Mini Jets Freestyle Podcast. We back at it. Y'all thought we was dead with you this did. shit. Nigga, we ain't never died. This nigga. shit never died. Sometimes man. you got to take a vacation to start a motherfucker. <laughs> but we back in this bitch. About to spin this track. Let y'all hear what's going on. Yeah, man. Let's Drop that it. jump, man. Because you didn't want to fuck Daddy Bush's wife. Hmm. Yeah, that shit, she looked like she jumped off the dollar bill. <laughs> Look at that. That's George Washington. What up, bro? And you didn't want to fuck George Jr.'s wife. <laughs> she looked like the mama on Damien Owen. That's <laughs> you see her face on right my That's my nigga, yeah. Midwest nigga. Yeah. Tony, 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 Tony. Hey. Look, yeah, uh, look, uh, 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 I don't pay attention at all, she said. She's just a talking head. I'm the walking dead when I'm on these meds. And I sleep on her like a comfy bed. Kicking back donkey legs. And I think she's up for a donkey punch. She's an animal in bed with the horse's head. When the donkey run, when I'm on these drugs, I don't need much. Sweet neglect in the beat cassette. On the freestyle shit that I need so fresh. Have to ask myself to repeat myself. And I think I said, You rapper niggas are never really able to get on my level. Eat my shit. Don't bring them motherfuckers that can cheat my bitch. So ill pay for a woman that she got sick. The beast I'm is. Mine the three times six. I don't sleep. I rest, growing tired of eating individuals for pizza, I guess. I'm on top of eat y'all flesh. In this bitch, like a deep coat text. Thirsty broad press me for sex. Yeah. B-boy fresh, spilling my drinks on myself. Trying to do some B-boy steps. Is it E or X? I don't know whatever it is. I got a nigga feeling had the first up. Sipping up the hundred dollar per cup. Shirt up. Murder, black song, like I got no winners, nigga, rap song at home, I'm a her guts, get my tuck and I rap on my song, and it's wet, wet, and it's like that, it's her guts, first one, get out my head and had to get in the booth, I know y'all fucking with me, the way I'm fucking with you, I try yeah. to work me a job, I'm royal, shit had me blue, that's okay. why these niggas sell dope, this why we sell it to you, don't make me give me no pills, they say they want 30s and zaddies, white girl like boys with the fans, that bitch my dirty Diana, I put my my dick in her back, then put your bitch on the track. Get okay. a couple pros with the blows, 
That's hey. why I cut me some hey. crap. Hey, hey. that's Tony Storm and his motherfucker, you know. boy. Bo, 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 bo. When they come through this bitch, man, do yeah, his man. thing, man. Bless yeah. us on the mic. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Move that shit on out the way, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Um, Yeah, I hope y'all like that, man. That's a little sample, a little snippet of what I'm coming with, man, on this next tape. It's rain and wind, man. It's going to be R-A-W, like raw, but it's rain and wind. Like rain, supreme, and wind. But you know, I'm Tony Storm, so you know, it's a play on words, like rain and wind. But yeah, man, it's raw. It's going to be that motherfucking, that pure, man, that y'all need. Tell know? them how they can find you on social media, bro. Hey, man, um, Tony Storm 419 on Instagram, uh, Judah James on Facebook, Tony Storm on Facebook, um, Tony Storm 419 on Twitter, uh, Attractive Music Group on, on YouTube, you know, all over the place. And you can stream me anywhere where the music being streamed. What up, Steve? You know what I'm saying? Tony Storm everywhere, you know, Tony Storm everything, man. You know, yeah. Man, my shit just died. <laughs> oh, shit. That's how it is around right? this motherfucker. Hell yeah. Let me plug this bitch up for oh, this shit. Up. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, man, shit. Tell them what you working on, what you got going on, man. Like, shit, you got any uh any shows coming up or anything like that, bro? Uh, well, right now, uh, I'm, I really wasn't really... Give me one second. Hold on. A little parched. You know what I'm saying? Spitting all that hot fire, man. But, um... Really, uh, I'm, I'm I'm open to performing right now, but really, mainly, I'm just working on a tape. You know what I'm saying? Working on some music. I got some mixtape stuff coming. I got some stuff I'm doing with my boy, Ahan. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? From Crawl Before You Walk. You know what I'm saying? The Glove. You know what I'm saying? My Detroit Connect. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to uh, we gonna do this little tape I'm working on and shit. I got some singles coming. All kind of fly stuff going on, man. Like, I can't stop this shit. It's what I do. It's my life's work. You know what I'm saying? I'm still producing. You know what I mean? I make beats. You know, I got my shit on... Uh, on Beat Stars and Track Train. You can search Firearms on Beat Stars or Firearms on Track Train. Listen to y'all, man. He got fire ass beats, bro. His this shit different than everybody's shit, bro. So like if y'all really want like some hits, man, he yeah. got the hits, man. He got some shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I, I I really got that thunder, so you ain't gotta wonder, man. You know, I'm gonna have to fuck with this shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? For yeah. real. You gotta fire. reach out, man. Come get these exclusive rights, man. Or yeah. shit, or rent a beat, nigga. However you gotta do it to get your shit out here, man. Cause the problem is all these producers and shit around here, they wanna run, you know, they 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 make beats, but the artists don't are always jumping on YouTube, bro. Like, right. why are y'all jumping on YouTube when you got motherfuckers right in this city right. where you can own the rights to the beat and you can do your shit and you don't got to worry about no copyright, no you know, strikes and all that crazy shit it that be come with it. It'd yeah. be your beat. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, man, my, my bro been doing this shit for a long time. Yeah, it's a fact, man. It's definitely a fact. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you letting me come through here and do my thing and put it down because, you know, it's important to when, when power has to unite with power. I can't be right here messing around with the jokers, man. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers don't want to see you win. The thing is, you can't be around motherfuckers that ain't got nothing to contribute or bring to the table because they're going to always be side-eyeing you and hating on you on the low because they really ain't on it like you on it. But when you got somebody like a brother like him and a brother like me put yep. work in, we right. both talented, we both skilled, and we yep. both God given his ga- God gave us this game. God gave us these talents and skills. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to unite. You dig? So, yeah. Come together and make something happen, man. For Most sure. just be so closed-minded and crab in the bucket mentality when yeah. we don't got to do that. We can all work together. Of course, it takes money to live, so, like, we got to endorse each other. That's what y'all got to understand. Like, For sure. if he got a business and he come here and he spend money with me in the studio, why, if he got a T-shirt business, I'm running over here to the Mook Mooks or where the fuck and right. buying a t-shirt when this is my dude and I know this is his business and right. he's charging a reasonable price, why wouldn't I go endorse his business like he endorsed mine? It's, For sure. It's, it's B2B. You know what I'm that's saying? How like, it that's how we're supposed to do it. And, and if we don't have business to business, we still supposed to be able to look out for each other and help each other, you know what I'm saying, step the game up because for at sure. the end of the day, it take a village to raise a motherfucking army. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Raise a child. Yeah. So we got to be, we got to strategically plan out like our relationships and how we structure our relationships, especially in business, friendship, relationships, it's no matter fact. what it is, you gotta you gotta be fair, man. For sure. You gotta play fair. You can't beat the game at giving and you always gotta keep the bread fresh, man. But the best way is to bless your people. You see what I'm saying? That's a, a, a lot of times while we run into problems is because we go in other boy? places and taking our business other places where we should be blessing our people. You know what I'm saying? Like I ran into some hard times and shit and then I looked around and I said, Well why? I wasn't being a blessing to my people. 
You know, so yeah. like when God bless you with something, He blessing you for you could be a blessing. You exactly. know what I'm saying? You don't you don't take the blessing and hold it to yourself. You gotta bless your people, man. Bless your folks. Then that's how you stay up. That's how you keep the blessing and, flowing. And a lot of reason why y'all niggas ain't getting blessed is because y'all got bad energy and y'all not givers, man. Right. You always supposed to be give. You first thing you supposed to give out of anything, whether it's resources or anything or your talents or anything, is gratitude. Mm -hmm. You gotta be grateful for everything that you. Get everything that you're able to give. You got to be grateful and you got to show people gratitude, For loyalty, sure. honesty, integrity. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Non-manipulation. Don't try to manipulate nobody. Don't Facts. steal from nobody. Don't try to get over no type of way. And I'm telling you, the blessings just keep compounding with interest. That's how God works. It's sure. the laws of reciprocity. It, it, it said in the Bible, if y'all believe the Bible, it's better to give than to receive. Facts. Why? Give than to receive. Facts. Why he's saying that? Because he know that if you able to give all the time, then you're receiving all the time. All the time. It's like currency, man. It's just like I, I learned this when I was in the joint. I was asking myself, I was asking God, like, why my blessings hadn't came a certain kind of way. And he was like, well, it's like, you know, currency is like a river, man. The water always got to have somewhere to come from, and it always got to have somewhere to go. That's how. That's why it's called currency. And that's how the blessings flow. Yep, yep. So when it's coming to you, it got to be flowing out just as smooth. And that shit just keep on smooth. coming. As soon as you close your hand, yep. guess what? <laughs> yeah, that's it's when it stop. Up. Yep. And then you get in the situation, you're like, damn, I don't know why I'm going through this, man. I was just doing good. Now right. all of a sudden I lost my car and lost my crib. Mm -hmm. I done lost my bitch. I done, mm -hmm. man, let me let me rephrase the saying that. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me, ladies. Yeah. Some ladies, some of y'all are still women, but a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying? So let me rephrase that. Yeah. Take that back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I done lost my chick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, yeah. like, it's like, damn, I done lost everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a tight motherfucker. I, I couldn't help nobody but myself. Yeah, like my brother Sam would say, man, you know, singing Deborah Cox, how did I get here? You know, <laughs> shit, everybody trying yeah. to eat, man. You gotta be, you gotta, you gotta be a giver, man. And that's sure. all things, fact. man. So I only that's surround myself my around said. people that that love me. That's gonna bless me. That I'm able to bless without having a conscience behind it. Because anytime you bless somebody, they got a conscience. That means that you you had an indecisive mind. That means that it's something about them that made you feel like, why should I get this motherfucker? You right. feel what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So like, you gotta have people where you don't have that feeling about. Mm -hmm. Ain't never gave you that right. feeling mm -hmm. to where it can stay solid and be solid on until y'all take your last breath. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody cross you, you can never look at them the same way. It's you just can't. it's just impossible. You can't. Right. Yeah, that's how that go, man. You gotta stay around people that's gonna be a blessing to you. It's reciprocity, man. You know what I mean? You know, so like my main thing is like like my main lesson that I learned is like you gotta be like a solid one hundred type person. Like you ain't no like you say, ain't no manipulation or none of that. Everything ain't no gonna flow. You know, like the thing about a snake, like like he'll bite you, but you know, cool, that's a snake, he gonna bite you. But it's one thing when you know that he a snake, but if this nigga dressed like a rabbit, you know, that ain't fair. You ain't right. I should know you a snake. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, that way I can keep you over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, for yeah. real. And that's the crazy thing about it, because you don't ever know niggas snakes and shit. Right. Till they do the snake and mm -hmm. shit. Till they them been around you till they, they bite you. Here. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's so why I, like, I'm the type of dude, like, okay, if I got a chick, I don't care if my chick around in the atmosphere. I work in the entertainment business, so you're going to be around hey. wolves all the time. All the time. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. if I can't put no faith in you to be, I'll you know, step out the room or I go somewhere. If I can't put no faith in you, then I ain't, I ain't fucking with you. I can't fuck with you, man. You feel me? You know what I mean? They be too small-minded, man. They want the they want the little petty stuff. They vibrate on, on a low frequency. But the thing is, it's not about that little petty shit, man. That shit don't... If it, look, here's the thing. If on the back end, your move costs you something, then it never was a win in the first place. Right. Like, you know what I mean? It's not supposed... Your, your, the shit you do supposed to be put, putting other people in good positions and putting you in a better position. But if what you do, you win right now, but you lose on the back end, then that's not really a win. And I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I want the real win, man. I want the blessings from God. I want, I want the win. I want bro. the win-win. You know what I'm saying? Break the chains of that bullshit and on the poverty and all that. Man, we're going to win for real. You know? Well, that's what life is about, man. It's about winning, man. For I ain't sure. trying to lose. I done lost damn near everything that, that I love. That hey, me too. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, losing losing to me is really losing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't trying to lose no more, man. That's mm -hmm. why I've been cutting motherfuckers away from me. Even people that I know that I've known for 20, 30 years, bro, I'd have cut their ass because you can't be around me, bro. You still on right. that? Right. Yeah, I can't deal you with you. You doing this 20 years ago. I can't deal with you, man. Like, I got a call from the joint the other day, man, and I don't know who it was, but I didn't answer it because I didn't, I don't, the thing is, like, 
I'm not going to enable you. You know what I mean? Like, it's one thing. Like, I went to the joint once. And I've been in the county multiple times. But you're not going to keep going to the fucking joint, man. Niggas not going to keep going to the damn joint, bro. Like, fuck that, bro. You, that's One joint shot is all it takes. Say, nah, I'm cool. That's it. If I keep seeing you going to the joint, I don't give a fuck who it is, bro. I gotta get the fuck away from you because <laughs> I'm gonna go next. I don't, man, did y'all know I beat a, I mean, I shit, I don't beat a kidnapping and assault in Kentucky. It had nothing to do with me, but still, kidnapping and assault. And I had an open hair on case in Toledo. I beat that shit too. Shh. But dig what I'm saying. This was from fucking with niggas. Yeah. I don't even do nothing. I don't kidnap and assault people. I don't right. deal with hair around. But when you circulate with these kind of people, you attract that kind of shit into yep. your in your life. Yep. You know? I don't and need once that, bro. Once you get down there, them people don't give a fuck who you wasn't involved with. Right. Once they stick that bitch on you, all they worried about is getting that bag out your ass. And, right. And here's the kicker. Not only was the shit not my funk, it wasn't my business, but the guys who business it was didn't even man up and say, hey, man, that ain't he ain't had nothing to do with that. I had to fight it and make them try to, bitch, you can't prove I did none of that shit. <laughs> but he spoke the guys that's dirty supposed to say, nah, he ain't had nothing to do with that. But they didn't do that. And this, and this was my lesson about niggas. I said, nah, man. Now, black man, I fuck with black man. But niggas, I can't fuck with you niggas, man. It's a, it's a different mentality. I'm a black man. I may, I may look like a nigga. I may be appearing like a nigga. I'm a black man, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I have a different... I, I respect people. I'm a move with honor. You know what I'm saying? I fear God. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I don't know, man. It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother thing. And that's why I, I watch what I put into my mind. I, I try to watch what my people is involved in and what they listen to and what they watch. Because that shit, man, that shit I had you out here acting like a nigga, man. And the nigga, it's war on niggas. It's not war on a black man. It's a war on the niggas, though. Yeah. You can't be one. I ain't going to be one, man. Yep. And if you act like a nigga, they're going to treat gonna you treat like one. They're going to treat you like one. Yeah, Because so. all they think in their mind is this motherfucker, mm -hmm. who he think he is. Let's slap a four ball on his ass. On him quick. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But yep, yeah, man, we out here, man, just trying to make a way out here with this shit, especially in this entertainment music, you know what I'm saying? We're doing this shit out here for so many years, man. We're trying to get where we need to get. And yeah. so, so far, like, and another thing, man, let me ask you this question, man. About all this gang shit, man, in the city, man, how motherfuckers, they can unite to go to a funeral. Right. But they can't unite to get some money together. Yeah, man. That's because people is reactive and not proactive, man. You know what I'm saying? They want to, they wait till something happens and say, okay, now let's get together. And, you know, it's only in temporary. And it's sad because it only happens because somebody's dead. But we could have been proactive and we could have, we could have made sure this didn't happen if we got together before this and just linked up and did something constructive. People are reactive and not proactive. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, you got to be more proactive in this shit, man. Like the face stuff, you know? You know, in your face, like proactive. I say that in the song, you know, but it's in your face. You got to be moving forward. You got to be proactive. Because when you wait for something to happen, you always on defense. You always got to wait for something to happen to respond and react a certain way. Nah, that ain't the way you go. You want to be proactive. You want to unite now. And that way we can avoid having to go to the funeral to unite. You know what I'm saying? We can unite and we can do some business like we doing now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up, man. Like this. was quick to go put teddy bears on trees and shirts mm -hmm. wrapped around trees and shit. But when it comes to get some money or it comes to some shit happening like that lady in, in Illinois, and niggas ain't about to band together to go against the police force. Y'all killing each other for nothing, man. We could be getting paid, man. We could start that Black Wall Street in every motherfucking right. major city or every, every, every secular city. Right. And get some money together. Right. This music shit ain't popping here is because niggas got the same mentality as everybody else. They just, hey, I got to be at the top. My clique got to be at the top. Right. We got to be doing this. We got to be doing that. We ain't even about that shit, man. It's nah. about us all getting this money, burping some millionaires out here. So the motherfuckers that got the money, if the good motherfuckers that got the money at the top yeah, able to come together, then everybody at the bottom going to do it. We got to do it, man. That's, our, that's, that's, our, that's how we're going to survive. One hand wash the other, they both wash the face. You see what I'm saying? Like, the face is the, our people. Like, I, I put my name Judah on there on Facebook because that's my people. That's who I am. My father's from the tribe of Judah. I'm Judah. I am my people. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to fuck around and change my rap name from Tony Storm to just Judah. You know, but we ain't, even, I, maybe not yet, but it's because I'm speaking for my people. I'm speaking to my people. Not the conditioned mind state that we used to be, but 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 from a place of, of, of as I grow, my music gonna grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't expect me to make another flame on. I'm not in the mindset of that. You see what I'm saying? I'll bar you to death, but you can't expect me to only be concerned with rapping, out rapping some motherfuckers. Because I've lived. You know what I'm saying? And I've got something to say about what I've seen. Like, yeah, man. And, I, and, I, and I'm talking to my people. I feel like, you know, I gotta get y'all attention. 
somehow. So that's that's why I meet you where you at. Just like the pastor, man, he ain't gonna come to you talking about some shit that you don't know about. He gonna talk to you about. He gonna meet you where you at. So I gotta come where y'all at, so I can take you where we going. You see what I'm saying? We got some places to go, man. We can't do it without uniting, man. You know. And that's facts, man. So listen, man. We about to wrap this up because we got some more people guests coming in here. This is my boy Tony Storm, my Black Hollywood. This is the Mini Desk Freestyle Podcast. Shout out to my co-host Boom the Bomb, man. We got the party coming up on the 11th, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up, jumping inbox, me or Boom inbox. We got the studio networking party coming up. You know what I'm saying? Right.